a boy named Caden Richards started having nightmares all the time. His parents thought it was just hormones and tried to support their son. From the outside, the boy's life was like a fairy tale. The best school, clothes, and a pretty girl by his side. He was the best soccer player in town, but he felt like an outsider. After another botched game, teammates began to speculate about the guy's strange abilities. The best player in town, losing several games in a row. The failures angered not only the players, but also the fans. The adrenaline made the guy jump on the enemy and start beating him mercilessly. After this incident, Caden Richards began to be questioned. The school principal, the victim's parents, and the police tried to figure out the reasons for the rage, but the boy could not find adequate excuses. His strength and outbursts of aggression made the guy wonder what was happening to him. The beloved girl tries to calm the guy and to establish a relationship. Moments later, the couple starts kissing, which plans to go into something more. During the passionate kiss, the guy's teeth turn into sharp fangs. The girl tries to get out of the locked car and runs out into the woods. The guy wakes up in a trashed house. There are traces of blood everywhere and broken things. The girl applies to the police, who stand outside the trashed house a few minutes later. The boy's nightmares came true. In the guise of a wolf, the guy goes into the woods. There would be no more life as before, for Caden Richards had become a monster. He didn't know when he would turn into an animal again, that's why he hit in new towns. One day, the guy stopped at a gas station for coffee. A local girl of easy virtue offers her services, but the monster refuses. The newscast is diluted with a story where the girl tells the story of a terrible crime. The monster probably doesn't even remember the attack that took place. Out on the street, Caden Richards notices bikers beating up a girl he knows. In a fit of rage, the guy transforms back into a monster and kills the attackers. Over the course of his transformation, Caden Richards has read many healing books. The only way to remain in a human body was to commit suicide. After getting all this stuff out of the trunk of his bike and taking off the license plate, the guy leaves for a new place, which turns out to be a small pub. Caden Richards meets his teammate, who also knows how to reincarnate into a wolf's body. A man named Wild Joe tries to convince the young wolf that this skill is very important. It turns out that Caden is adopted and his parents had no idea about the strange features. Wild Joe admits that the young wolf's parents were pioneers of a new world and live in the Far East. He tries to find out the truth about his parents, but the man avoids the conversation. After promising to meet his parents, Wild Joe aims an arrow at a target which shows the location of the family. The wolf's homeland, it turns out, is Lupin Ridgeon, where the boy is bound to go. The road leads the young wolf to a small town, where he goes to the pub again. The boy meets a pretty barmaid, who amiably treats him to a beer. The young wolf introduces himself by a made-up name, David Daniel, and flirts with the bartender. The gentle look makes one of the guys jealous and comes out with Caton for a showdown. Not wanting to stir up conflict, the guy leaves the pub and hides in the nearby bushes. After the guys leave, Caden returns to town, where he is mowed down by a rural farmer. The man offers the guy a job and takes him to the Tollerman farm. The guy meets the family and goes to work on the farm. The tractor's road is stopped by a huge rock, which the young wolf has no problem getting. This sight shocks the farmer, for the stone was absolutely unreachable. Suddenly caught up with life on the farm, calms the guy, and makes him forget about his problems. The family is unaware of Caden Richard's peculiarities, but the farm animals smell it and scatter. One day, an old acquaintance of John Tollerman, the town's keeper, Connor, comes to the farm. The man talks about strange things that are completely inexplicable to a young wolf. The next morning, all of the farmer's sheep turn out to have been eaten by wolves. The dead body of the sheep becomes a hearty family meal. In the evening, Caden Richards goes into town to visit the old company. Near the pub, the wolf is met by a guy who introduces himself as his third cousin. The guy warns him to get out of town as soon as possible because Connor's pack is already ready to kill him. The leader of the pack drives out many wolves and decides for himself whom to let live. Caden returns to the pub, where he once again talks to the pretty barmaid. Their problems converge, for the couple do not know their parents. Caden's second cousin is sent to an evening gathering with the pack. It turns out the guy is being bullied by the town's Connor gang, which forces him to look for hidden wolves. The pack of wolves reincarnates, which scares the poor guy. He runs away into the woods and tries to hide from the ill-fated animals. At this time, Caden rides toward the woods, for he smells fresh blood. Near the tree, the guy meets a familiar bartender, Angelina Timmons, together with whom they go in search of the murdered man. After walking through a certain area of the woods, the couple finds a pack of wolves tearing apart the human flesh. After seeing dinner in a clearing, the couple return home to the farmers. The new family watches a newscast that duplicates the young wolf's story. 
It turns out that the farmers have known about the boy's hidden powers for a long time. John Tollerman pulls out an old scrapbook showing pictures of Caton's real family. The boy's mother, it turns out, is the native sister of the sheltering farmer. Tollerman admits that he is also a purebred wolf. Many members of the pack are endowed with mixed blood, so they do not have the features of a purebred wolf. Connor is one of the last purebred wolves. It all started when he first met Lisa Stewart, the town wolf. It seemed to him that the girl was made just for him, so he came at night and took the poor she-wolf by force. It turns out that Connor is the father of the young wolf, which shocks the guy. After the news of Lisa's pregnancy, the family carefully hid the girl from the dangerous wolf until she gave birth. Shortly after the birth of little Caden, the girl puts her own hands on herself. The girl's death drove Connor mad. He assembled a notorious gang of wolves who began to hunt and kill living things. The girl he likes must obtain a son from the last purebred wolf living in the pack. The strange decision angers Caden, for the child will be abandoned like him. Only by giving birth to a descendant will Angelina Timmons be able to protect her family. The boy admits that he destroyed his foster parents on his own. In turn, the girl talks about the murder of her mother by the hands of her own father. They run through a cornfield and end up in a farm warehouse. The girl tries to kiss Caden, but the boy refuses. He's afraid of the excitement, which always escalates into a wolf transformation. The bartender relaxes the guy, and the couple begins kissing passionately. The rabid wolves tear their clothes off and make love. In the evening, the farmer introduces Caden to the city wolves, who turn out to be his brothers. The men confess that this is a great danger to the family, for if Connor recognizes his son, they are dead men. The boy asks everyone to go home, and is going to deal with the situation himself. John Tollerman tries to stop him, but the boy runs off into the clearing. The wolf pack arranges to massacre the cunning wolf, but their plans are interrupted by the arrival of Caden. The boy tells the whole truth about his mother's death, which alarms the leader. The son makes his own rules, the condition of which is the departure of the wolf pack from the city. Strange conditions overtake Connor, but he does not agree. The man sends his partners after the young predator, wishing to kill him sooner. In an instant, Caden takes out the first few wolves, and then deals with the rest of the pack. Loud noises come from the foothills of the forest, forcing Angelina to go to the rescue. Connor intercepts her son, but the boy manages to escape. The young wolf is stopped by a huge chasm, into which he leaps mercilessly. The falling Caden is saved by a tree, after which he wakes up on the ground. Wild Joe, who he met in the town pub, finds him. The old acquaintance turns out to be only a hallucination, urging Caden to get up. On the way out of the woods, a disturbed Angelina is waiting for the guy. The couple embrace and head home. The poor guy is brought to his senses, but he only gets worse. The young wolf's bones break from the pain. The only thing that can help him survive is to run a long distance. Angelina helps the boy and takes him to a wild field. After running, the wolf gets much better, after which he and the girl return to the farm. John prepares an explosive fertilizer that will help the mission. With the help of rural technology, the family quickly manages a large portion of the fertilizer. The farmer leaves, leaving the couple alone. Caden asks the girl to stay and to pack. After completing the mission, they agree to meet at the foot of the mountain to leave town in peace. Assured that the girl is safe, Caden continues field work. At this time, a pack of wolves drives up to the farmhouse and takes poor Angelina away. The smell of predators is heard by Caden, which makes it urgent to return home. In a small room, the young wolf does not catch the girl, but notices the invitation. The wolf pack invites relatives to Connor's ceremonial mating with Angelina. At midnight, an irreparable act will take place that will change the life of the town. The farm family sits in a huge cage that prevents them from leaving the pack. A girl, relaxed by pills, is put by the fire. Two wolves guard the clearing from Caden's attack, but the boy quickly kills the predators and makes his way to the clearing. Finally, Caden arrives at the merciless carnage and begins his attack. During the strike, the guy manages to free Angelina. Caden escapes into the woods, taking the dangerous pack away from her family. Afterwards, the girl transforms into a wolf and tears apart several members of the pack. Angelina opens the cage and releases the farmers. After getting closer to the house, the farmer is already set to shoot. The wolves are sure that Caden is hiding in the hayloft, but the version is refuted. The pack of wolves is locked in the building with no chance of getting out. A farmer fires a shotgun at the hayloft, causing the hay to explode and burn. Unexpectedly, Connor manages to escape completely unharmed. The wolf attacks his son again, trying to drive him out of town. 
Connor confesses that he has always loved his mother and he did not rape the woman. When the father finds out she is pregnant, he threatens to kill Connor so he has to leave for the clearing. While Joe, who has not forgiven all the wrongs, intervenes in the conversation, he is sick and one-eyed only because of Connor's horrible treatment. It turns out that it was Wild Joe who killed the boy's adoptive parents, which forced him to hiding in other cities. The whole situation was set up just to get revenge on Connor. With an easy move of his hand, Wild Joe stabs the young wolf. Feeling his strength, Wild Joe kills Connor. After the death of one enemy, an old acquaintance takes on Caden's life. Trying to strangle the guy, Wild Joe stops the farmer shooting the man in the shoulder. The attack is successful, after which Wild Joe tries to hide in a field. Not to miss the enemy, the wounded Caden goes after him. The guy takes Wild Joe's cigarette and tosses it on the bag of fertilizer he left behind. He can't come to terms with Connor's death and the killing of his parents, so he blows up Wild Joe. From the blast wave, Caden is thrown backwards, but the guy remains conscious. The last thing he sees is Angelina running toward him. The next morning, the couple spend in a shared bed. Now, the murderer's dead body will fertilize the field soil. Angelina wants to go home sooner, so the couple decides to take a little break from the farm and return to town. The farmer presents a scroll with a picture of the wolf family tree. This gift will help them find their relatives and connect with the rest of the tree. The family farewells fondly, after which the couple return to town.